population is aging very rapidly, but yet the services and products are not adapted to the needs of our, of our older population. So, for example, housing, transport, services need to take on board the needs of older people. The actions we are going to implement should significantly change people's lives across the whole of Europe. We are in a consortium with all kinds of partners with different expertise. Well, this action plan is about uh, reducing frailty and physical decline and under nutrition. We believe through the appropriate deployment of technology backed up by integrated care, we will actually devise a health system that is going to be fit and stable for the long term. The problem is that about 50% of the people that take medicines in fact do not take them, do not adhere to therapy. What we are trying to do is to help this adherence. Many people are just uh, slowly drifting into undernutrition, malnutrition. Uh, many elderly people with uh, poor uh, health, especially chronic diseases, these people will gain a lot. We are looking uh, at the solving barriers for implementation. And uh, one of the barriers is uh, the procurement of innovative services and solutions. What we are trying to do is to have alert systems for the patients in order to tell them, to remember, to remind them that they have to take the drug. At the moment in Scotland we manage diabetes uh, across the whole of Scotland in an integrated way. Patients can go online and access reliable and quality assured health information and advice about their diabetes. They can access their blood tests online and it transforms diabetic care. So if we can do something to help people who have dementia live longer and better lives, these dementia suffer themselves and possibly just as importantly, the carers, the family carers of people with dementia will all benefit. We have to involve the informal carers in our healthcare system uh, in order to organize full prevention. So we can learn uh, the community, the neighbors, into support frail elderly people to prevent from falling. Patient empowerment will be paramount in the success of the program. And from the point of view of the citizen, moving the power relationship slightly in their favour and possibly slightly away from the uh, providers I think will be a benefit. We are determined to allow patients to be at the heart of everything we do. The European Innovation Partnership will help us connect all those stakeholders and get a critical mass for the new uh, solutions, innovative solutions for demographic ageing. And the fact that we are coming from such different areas of the society, from industry, from uh, ministries, from professionals, from medical people, from uh, all over, really joining forces to uh, pitch in and help. And that's creating a platform which is really new, unique. Uh, we can't do it al uh, alone because, for instance, in our own region of two and a half uh, million of people, it's not possible uh, to implement it only by ourselves. We have to deal with problems like interoperability and, and use of standards and it's really helping to uh, cooperate with other partners in, uh, across Europe to, uh, to solve this kind of problem. We are good in some areas, other regions are good in some other areas and if we learn from each other we don't have to develop uh, bad practices first. I think it's good if we can learn from good practices elsewhere. Interestingly we're also sharing mistakes. So for us, it allows us to implement faster than we would do otherwise, takes out waste, reduces cost. I think this programme will bring a lot of benefits to European citizens, in particular people of my age group and older, who will need assistive technology to enable us to live independent lives in the future. An EIP gives us an opportunity to be involved in that and to help us to set the agendas and to help to find out how we might be part of the solution um, to making healthcare sustainable uh, and to making sure that we all have a, a much healthier uh, and active life uh, for hopefully much longer than we would do otherwise.